What's going on guys? All right, so I got a little surprise today. So one of my students stopped by and he wrapped his Porsche Panamera in the midnight sun. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. He did a fantastic job uh, with one small minor area, but otherwise the car looks fantastic. You guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, Arch was here in February yeah. and uh, he did the three day uh, level two workshop with us and you know, he, he did a fantastic job on the Porsche. Porsche is no easy car to wrap. It's got a lot of complex curves and uh, you know hard areas to wrap, but he did a great job on it. So let's do a walk around of the car in the midnight sun. So first of all, I'll kind of give you a little look of what this color looks like in the sun. I'm sure it's nice and cleaned up. So one area we had a little issue was down here. Just didn't feed the vinyl in enough, but next time he knows. He did an awesome job. So he mentioned that his front bumper was repainted and he still killed it on the front bumper. Like, check out the corners. So this is his first full wrap after the workshop. Doing a good job. He didn't even take the door handles off. He worked around them. Check that out. It looks mint. And I don't even see a single glue line anywhere. We can kind of show you all the angles here. So if he were to get glue lines, he would get them in this area right here if he were to stretch in with heat. That would be very typical with like a 3M or Avery product where you'd get glue lines by stretching into that area. So he must have laid in probably. Yeah, like he should have. And uh, and did a great job. So again, rear bumper is a bit complex. It's got a big curve to it. And the hatch is actually probably one of the harder parts of the whole car, simply because of the awkwardness of the piece itself. So it's, it's very thin up top there. It's thin on the sides, and then it has this bulky section on the bottom here. It curves this, it curves to the left and curves to the right, and it, it goes front and back. So it's a very awkward piece. I'm sure it was awkward to wrap, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he did, he did everything properly. He did an inlay in here can't even tell. Did an excellent job of that. It's the way he should have done it. He even did an inlay in the inside piece here. Again, you can't even tell. It's just a little bit of water spots and stuff since he just washed it. Killing it. Look at those corners. So I think he has uh, plans for a chrome trim delete is what he said on the, on the windows. Again, no glue lines, right? Did an excellent job tucking in everything, making it look nice, making it look clean, making it look like a paint job. It's the idea. Again, around the door handles, everything looks excellent. Door handles are hard to wrap, so I don't blame you. Yeah. They're, and they're hard to take out in general. So, I mean, if you do own one of these cars, you can appreciate it. If you've ever taken, taken it apart before, you can appreciate that this is actually not that easy to take apart. And it's, it's, the door handles are a whole other level of uh, wrapping. So, again, did an excellent job on the whole wrap itself. And just let me know what you think, guys. I think he did. Uh, I think he did a pretty awesome job. Now, there's my car, kind of right behind his there. Thought we'd kind of pull them up together and just see what it looks like. Anyways, guys, if you think that Arch did an awesome job on the wrap, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see some more videos, don't forget the subscribe button. I have a ton more coming. Thanks, Arch. Thanks for coming to the workshop. I hope to see some more of you guys at the workshops. We have uh, we're all the way booked through October, I believe, booking into November now. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care.